Hey traders, how are you? Ivan here, Market Stats Commentator at Global Prime Brokerage Firm. I am going to be walking you through, as usual, through my daily edge video format, video version. Remember, this is going to be a technically oriented presentation that is going to be taking aim at helping you as a trader to better navigate the FX markets with the assistance of this unique research and unbiased market analysis that I am covering i am presenting day in and day out so without further ado let me give you a bit of a roundup where we at essentially we are coming off a long weekend and finally the markets after a period of tranquility have come back to life with volatility picking up that has been very well neatly exemplified through this uh, emergence of buy side pressure we've seen in the likes of the euro the chf and also to a bit of a lesser extent the japanese yen i was running a long exposure in the gbp in the last 24 hours unfortunately that exposure now is no longer present i was taking out for a scratch after a sudden sell side rotation as you guys can see right here in the british pound now one of the trades that i'm still holding and hopefully it will soon hit the three to one risk reward is sure the canadian dollar index after a breakout that we had identified i called and we've traded in the cat uh, index through a breakout as i said right here now the last trade that i have also called as part of the mental room you can actually find the link down in the description box of this video is a breakout trade in the Aussie index right here we can see a well-defined top and right here that is the candle that vindicates this breakout okay so this is a bit of a uh, summary you know of uh, where we at in terms of positions now let me walk you market by market and give you my two cents of what I consider to be the outlook for the next 24 hours now when it comes to the euro index I believe that the euro might have a bit of extra uh, upside momentum to still be on the side of those that have been buying this market that being said notice that we do have this structural high right here and I believe that would be a substantial a significant blockage for the buyers to keep pushing further up do remember that this rally has been rather spectacular we've essentially seen the most aggressive buy side campaign since late february so we're talking that the magnitude of this movement can only be challenged against the magnitude of we, what we had right here and also right here notice also that the impulsiveness of these last two candles have been actually more uh, like stronger than this period and uh, that's why i was saying that late february really is our best template and whenever we saw back then this emergence of robust you know robustness in the buy side um in the buy side exposure eventually it did uh, taper off and uh, the reason being notice that uh, the big picture continues to be uh, a market dominated by <clears throat> sellers on uh, on deep bounces and uh, you know might be also one of the extra uh, kind of a thesis that you might want to throw into the mix uh, to speculate why we might actually be uh, starting to struggle uh, as we make an extra push to the upside right here okay now next the chf the chf this is a market that has seen the uh, the swiss franc emerging essentially from the ashes notice that the swiss franc has been arguably alongside the japanese yen the two markets that have been most consistently sold this year as this uh, narrative of inflationary pressures and that uh, you know also the global growth um, recovering after this uh, COVID-19 period of uh, slow uh, economic activity you know finally looks like we might be turning a corner with all the vaccine rollouts and the Swiss franc now is uh, kind of like uh, as I said alongside the Japanese yen the it's been the most unfavored uh, currency to be uh, playing alongside exposure but that has changed 
in a dime that actually has changed in the last few candles and let me give you a bit of a, the technical script here so essentially the revival of the Swiss franc performance here comes after what's commonly known as an SR flip play essentially what we saw here was a very critical level of support the market had struggled big time and once we did break and accumulated along this uh, lower section the market i suppose was um, you know placing higher and higher expectations that we would see a continuation now that never happened and right here this was the make or break candle this closed beyond this level of resistance turned that resistance into support we actually had that role reversal and we seen a textbook retest with <clears throat> those committed sellers running to the exits and those that have been obviously able to capitalize on this technical readings jumping onto, onto the bandwagon and sending this uh, market much much higher i believe that at this point now we would be paying an outrageous premium if you want to be long the chf that doesn't mean that as a momentum type uh, player or as a scalper there's no further upside available notice that we're starting to now uh, respect what used to be here for a number of periods resistance now that's acting as support right here you can see and uh, there's definitely some voidness that can be exploited until we reach that level of resistance in the chf okay so that's my that's my two cents when it comes to the swiss franc now the US dollar index, I believe that here we do have further downside on tap. And the reason I'm saying that is because we finally seen this follow through supply, allowing us to get a bit more of clarity near term as the metrics finally are starting to align towards the downside three out of four. Notice here that we have now been uh, skewing this uh, measures of momentum towards the downside. And also very importantly, structurally wise, this is a market that has broken. Let me just um, amplify that. Notice that we have broken and closed below this previous uh, swing low and that should be reinforcing the notion that sellers are the ones in control and that close as I said in the US session definitely vindicates that buyers have for the time being uh, dissipated and I believe that there might be about a 0.4% projected gains uh, potential here for sellers until the next relevant support that would be coming at that magenta level all right so sorry guys uh, so that is my outlook for the us dollar index now as uh, we shift gears into the japanese yen i personally believe that this this is a, a, com a commendable breakout one that the japanese yen buyers definitely deserve praise for that being said i am not going to get involvement in this market the reason the reason being is because even though this congested sideways action has finally seen a resolution towards the upside, I typically want to see on any breakout that we're going to have a majority of metrics in one side and that unfortunately is not the case and uh, with uh, you know rightfully so I mean if you actually look at the big picture just as I was uh, explaining through the Swiss franc price action this year the Japanese yen is also a market that has been obliterated has been decimated and uh, that's why I find that this uh, type of breakouts to the upside in a market that been, that's been so bearish are uh, rather risky are definitely riskier than taking breakouts to the downside notice how beautifully all these breakouts to the downside have been working uh, in the Japanese yen how great they've been working okay so that's my take when it comes to the Japanese yen that uh, I mean even though I'm not gonna gain gain that long side exposure I can definitely envision how short-term uh, players might actually be stacking more long orders in the Japanese yen and that could actually cause a short-term uh, you know further reprieve in this market that leads to follow through the man <coughs> in the Japanese yen short term okay now one of the aspects that i also take into consideration is the analysis of the points of uh, supply or demand imbalances and notice here that we did have a major supply imbalance the japanese yen index has come all the way to test the 
um, the genesis or the uh, kind of uh, the uh, origin the origin of that supply and it's been clearly rejected so one more reason to be a bit prudent when it comes to longs in the Japanese yen index here okay now the next market one that definitely has taken taken me aback I mean I was holding a long position here in the GBP and the heaviness in the sell side <clears throat> flows we've seen of the 2021 high in the GBP index it's been nothing short of spectacular it's been a very violent move and um, you know the just to put things into perspective in one no in two candles we have eliminated one week worth of gains okay so that should be that should speak volumes about the actual impulsive impulsiveness of this reversal of the top in what might actually set us out for a minimum full uh, trend reversal now that being said that's going to take some time to to find out i believe that this market definitely now needs to mature and we might actually be in for some retracement uh, and with reason because notice that we had identified here what is often what i often call a bracketed area we have the high we got low very well defined low actually we had resistance we had support so we can obviously select this as a box that becomes our bracketed area and as we duplicate the size of that box notice that this is a, essentially the projected target that the GBP should be aiming for before market makers reversal traders and profit taking it uh, takes effect and that may actually take us towards uh, you know some higher levels as the rebound uh, plays out okay uh, in my personal opinion it is very unattractive to hold short positions in the GBP unless your involvement has been at much higher prices and you want to actually be uh, you know making a case for lower levels in a matter of few days but certainly not in the sh very short term I believe that this market is definitely overcooked all right next the Canadian uh, index <clears throat> This is the short that we played as part of the mental room. I call this trade after we had this close right here in the Asian session. Notice that this was a resolution that had then uh, left behind a number of uh, candles with a well-defined level of support. We acted uh, that acted as resistance on the way up. So this was our uh, stop loss that I have to say that it definitely tested our nerves because uh, it came rather close but ever since we've seen a very aggressive uh, sales side campaign here for it's been now one two three four and hopefully that continues into the fifth and sixth candle until that target happens to be met okay so we are sure the cat as part of the BTO basket trading strategy remember that what essentially we do here is we are going to be selecting a basket of can Canadian denominated currencies that will be replicating one-to-one -one this chart we do that through the MT4 and it's just a fantastic a fantastic way of simplifying things out when trading the Forex market now next uh, market we only got two left is there gonna be the Australian dollar index now I believe that here longs have made a case and uh, this bullish breakout that uh, was vindicated through this candle is now going to be taking us into higher levels hopefully and that's where I'm going to be protecting my position we can travel at least to this previous high if that is the case then as I said we would be running a risk-free trade now a bit of a technical script of uh, what's been going on in the Australian dollar here as I said top side resolution of the range has come to fruition and this could now set the Aussie into traction to explore high levels towards the late March peak as I was pointing out here and as such with all our preparatory metrics pointing north you guys can see it right here i've entered a long position in what i classify as a breakout trade it is also encouraging i have to say that we are uh, we have formed i gotta say we have formed a double bottom prior to this uh, micro breakout here okay so that's my take on the Aussie rather encouraging signs and another market that my fire longs the longs might be around the corner it includes the New Zealand dollar index uh, the New Zealand dollar has a rather 
uh, inspiring technical landscape to stay constructive in the um, in this chart we had previously acted you know notice that we had uh, this level previously acting as a resistance we had initially as the European session came online sell side but also on uh, all that sell side has been absorbed not through just the European session but the US uh, players have returned back with uh, with some impetus and the market is now uh, looking like it might want to resume this um, you know what might constitute the third leg up right here okay so we'll see if that eventually plays out I remain hopeful that we might just be one candle away from this uh, currency signaling a long entry in line with this near term bullish trend currency uh, currently at play and that can also be manifested or well represented through the metrics that we analyze all right and so with that being said uh, that's uh, enough for me today hopefully you guys have gained a better grasp of uh, the current state of affairs in the forex market do remember that this coverage is performed through the eight hour session by session flows and that is a phenomenal phenomenal uh, way of uh, viewing and trading the currency space especially for those that have time constraints okay so if you, you've enjoyed this content and you find value please make sure that you smash the like button you make some comments you can actually come and have a discussion with me if you're interested in the course that i put together you can find the link down below and uh, i will be available and at your disposal through the discord room at any time 24 5 cheers guys